What? Okay, trap versus trap. Wow. This is what I'm talking about. This is how we have some fun. Not that. Uh, not that. What the hell? These are not gonna help me round one. I'm not gonna be playing traps, likely. Nine gang good. And by the way, if my German accent seems particularly bad, it's because I don't speak German. I just uh, <laughs> just switched the game to German. And uh, just for the hell of it. Why are you playing German? Why would you not play in German? Oh, this guy's gonna die. Did I just move it back? And then play in the back now. So, I'm s shutting down my own smuggler. Although if I left it up, I probably would have get got one point. Questionable move. Anyway, let's do it. <clears throat> I'm trying to harden the gameplay. It doesn't really make it harder. What? This is an interesting opener. I'm, I'm, I'm just genuinely interested in it. I think it just makes it more fun. Because all of us already understand English. That's not a problem. But who knows, maybe we can pick up some German. While we are at it. So... Yeah, we can go with Dried Matron. Or just go with the, the Watcher. Don't kill that. Chotto. It's a pretty good way to get some points. Although the watcher is kinda weak. It seems the Eldane Sir Pumpkin deck. I'm really good to uh, I'm really glad to see that uh Pumpkin is playing something unusual. I think we're just gonna pass. He didn't play much. He didn't play much. I don't actually mind going first. Round three. Oh, keep that. That's garbage. I wanna get. Well, th these traps are not gonna be extremely useful. He's gonna play as a synthesis, he's gonna resurrect that. Your Chatsug is obviously amazing. I need a translation to this shit. Wait. Just close up. Yeah, we don't want to play anything here. Pass. Yeah, we're gonna go to la last round right away. This deck runs Avalak Sage, Summoning Circle, and Great Oak. It's a fun deck, hard to pile up. But it does seem like he has a lot of immune. Well, he has a big finisher with the Great Oak. Summoning Circle is not very interactive. It's a, maybe it's a passive deck. Is that fair to say? 
It doesn't give you a lot of targets. Ooh, this could be really good. I don't think Ragnarok is necessarily going to be terribly useful. So. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Good deck, uh, good hands. Yeah, let's see. If we can beat him in this scenario, we basically just can't beat him. I'm gonna offer a sacrifice here. Maybe it's a fire trap. If you push, you should win. But that's kind of how I win too. Is he just gonna kill everything now? Because that's gonna be a little annoying. Really good news that all my guys are fives. These are actually amazing against me, and I can't even play around it. I was like, wow, I could have played the big tree into it, but. Yeah, let's just try to deny. He probably doesn't have a lot of units. That was a good one to deny. I guess we're gonna Ragnarok in the back. I wanna play the Ante Bear, but. Eh. Good trap. We're just gonna kill everything, basically. He's gonna replay that for sure, if he can. Good option. Seems like he has a Mohakam horn. Maybe I should play my big tree as well. So that way it doesn't get denied, for sure. Although, if this gets shut down, then we are completely screwed. Yeah. Playing my last guy is completely pointless. Orbit Shatsu. If it kills my tree, then I just lose. Else we have to rely on. Do I not trigger this? Well, if he dies, then we lose for sure. I'm not gonna flip the pit, pit trap, I think. Oh, Mahakam Horn flips. Yeah, makes sense. 
Oh no, that's the tricky part. This gets thrown into the dumpster. It doesn't matter, he doesn't gain any points if I play it. No! I got shot down! True word! Eleven points! Missed the big tree! Oh look at that! That alley ran! Wow! Snuck in some points in the end. King Buju. The Baden Master. Baden Meister. GG. Good deck, I guess. Okay. Uh, Alf Scouts. Go away. I don't like you. I kind of like you, though. <clears throat> because I'm still used to the old UI and always click the wrong stop and then click away. I haven't played much homecoming yet. Yeah, I didn't give GG for a long time. Until they fixed the GG button so it's accessible now. And since then, I'm clicking it all the time. Shut up. Let's go with Pafko. Actually, no. Let's, let's go with Pafko in the back. Let me go. Dryad Matron, Dryad Matron. Album for Butcher guy. Maybe it's just gonna be Dryad Matron, Butcher, and Dryad Matron. <sighs> Let me guess. Does he have like a lot of dudes who are all about damage plus body? Wild guess over here. No, no GG to filthy non-units decks. Ah, uh, yeah, that's kind, of, that's kind of boring. But if you give non-units players GGs, then may, maybe they can afford units. Exactly. Maybe they don't have units because they can't afford it. Excellent point there, Cronin. Excellent point. If you give them GG, then they just stop playing no unit decks. That's how it works. Can't really keep doing this. This is not a great hand to push with. They're 14 points behind. I can save that guy for one round. But then these are gonna be doing dumb things. I would need to play both rushing traps and prop the big tree. And even then, we might lose. I dislike it. I'm playing normal decks, <clears throat> and I'm receiving GG like 20% of my wins. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that seems like a pretty low number. You know, you don't know how GG works, man. You, you, GG, GG is the act of, you know, you send GG when you're about to own your opponent. Whenever I play strategy games, I learn that. So whenever you're just about to own your opponent super hard, he has no chance. And he's just about to rage quit. You send GG with big G's, preferably, or small GG. 
Both works. Big GG is, is preferable. You send I GG when you're about to win. That's how it works. Always the winner sends it when he's about to win. The loser never sends GG. That's how it works. Just, just proper online etiquette. 80%? Yeah, yeah. They don't want to give me anything. They want to show how mad and angry they are. I know that because I'm almost always receiving a GG when I'm losing. Exactly. You know? They're the bigger man, you know? I just... He's just throwing some peasant some money. You know? There you go, some peasant. Better luck next time. You don't follow the logic? On pro rank, people mostly don't care and give GG because why not? No! I will need to get... Seven points here, and I get one out of this. If I play, it's only gonna be a five. But we need to use a boo remove, and unless I'm playing the tree, which I'm not, I guess we're playing the dry matron. And moving that sucker. Okay. Wait, what? Yeah, that was that was correct. It seemed more, but that had to be done. Okay, we still have a lot of moves. I'm not sure if this guy is gonna give us a lot of value. Actually, we need to throw back a trap. Ooh, now we got a, a chance to get bricked. But this is not especially good. It's not a great upgrade. Okay, we're just gonna fight with what we got. I can start with the Mahakamer Horn. I need to play on one row, and I guess I'm gonna play on the melee row. But we're gonna go with the Mahakamer Horn. And most likely he doesn't have a way to shut down traps, so this is fine. I think a completely different dude. When I'm giving GG, uh, and they are not, then I feel like they tricked me. And they had their revenge on me. I feel bad about it. <laughs> I think it's fair to say. <clears throat> that you're overthinking it. Ah. Uh. <gasps> you can just give someone something for free that costs you nothing without feeling bad about it. Tricked you. <laughs> Actually. We're not gonna lock that. We, we gotta lock the value generator, man. This argument is disrespectful, Mr. Adam. What? You haven't played the online games? Okay, I know. Come on. Come on, I know. I know how, you su how it's supposed to be. But I know how it is. People send GG when they are right about to win. That's how it works. Every single time. That's the proper way to do it. The proper etiquette is that the loser says GG and the winner says GG. There you go. But the online etiquette is just that the winner sends GG when he's about to win, then jumps on the table, does a... does a... well... does a little dance. And uh, says in your face, and uh, about that, yeah, that, that about covers it. Sube. 
I'm not sure why he... Well, the thing is, this Elven Scout might get killed now. But they are free, so who knows. Actually, we should trigger this dumb trap. I hate this crap. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, the Elven Scout is not gonna die right away. I just play a fog group. I'm not sure how I feel about after a guy <laughs> comes all over my face. I guess I feel the same. Oh my god, Minky. Okay. That's not gonna die. Pretty good news. Let's just play the Watcher. Over here. You're not triggering the Mahakam here nearly. Just to try to save the scout. Oh, that's annoying. But this way, we actually have to trigger the Mahakam Horn Erne. We try to save the, the scout. Then, we might actually go for another horn. Or just deny something. If we go with another horn, that's gonna be 8 points. Which is pretty decent. Then I something... That's a less reliable option. We still got uh, Jorvitz. Shatsuk. It's gonna get killed. Why that? Why not this? Okay. Got a lot of moves. I can just blow that up. I don't have to deal with that anymore. I would just kill the guy in the back. It's a little better. Although, if he played the traps. It's gonna hit like it, it, it pretty hard. Ah, uh, let's just go with that. Removing the priester. Pretty good. I just went to the restroom for a moment. What happened in chat? Well, wow. it's hard to. Summarize the chat. Also, the winner must put all the cards on the table just to show disrespect. Yeah. You not only have to play all your cards when you win, but also you have to get your deck out and show it off. Oh, the Swablo needs to be... Actually, that's annoying, guy. I, I... Probably shouldn't move that into the front, because it doesn't matter. Unless we can kill it. No, I can't. That's 7 damage. Actually, I can kill it, can I? Can't I? If I hit it... For... 6... Plus move it twice, then it dies. Doesn't it? Please tell me I'm right. I don't want to fuck this up. I think I'm right. 
But we gotta play like this. Guys, I'm right, right? Get your deck out. So you guys play chess? Checkers, etc. Or just CCG? I don't really play chess. Play the little chess. What? I'm... What? No? Why no? I can just do this. Actually, we should have moved Olaf. That would have been better. So we had 40. Oh, play around renew. Oh, good point. I was like, why not? But yeah, renew. Good point. That's pretty big. Oh, he's gonna kill the 5 or... It was dumb. If he hits this, he actually denies 4 points. I guess that wouldn't matter. Some dumb things like that doesn't matter. This guy definitely made the right choice there. Let's go for the max damage. I guess the strategy guide is pretty simple in that regard. You just gotta go and hit the biggest numbers. When you play body plus damage dudes, you know, you don't have to think about very many things. Like what cards do, just, you know, just target enemies with your damage. GG, Skellige man.